Good morning everybody. Are you ready for another exciting Sunday School adventure? We're going to start off today with a song, My Lighthouse. So you might want to get yourself some space, stand up so we can do all the actions together. Are you ready? Off we go. <laughs> Bible and its story about Noah. God was sad, very sad. Everywhere he looked he saw people making bad choices, hating each other, hurting each other, making a mess of his beautiful world. I need to stop 
start all over again, God said. I need to make my world clean. And that's when he talked to Noah. Noah was not like the rest. He was a good man and God knew it. So God told him to build a boat. A boat big enough to hold Noah, his wife, his three sons, their wives, and every pair of animal in the world. And food enough to feed all of them for a long time. Noah's family was surprised when he told them what he was going to do. Noah's neighbours thought it was strange that he had wanted to build a boat and he wasn't anywhere near the sea. It wasn't easy chasing and catching and cleaning up after all those animals, but Noah was a good man. He did what God told him to, even when it was hard and it didn't make any sense at all. At last, when they were all tucked safely away in the boat, God shut the door and it started to rain. It rained for 40 days and 40 nights. It rained harder than Noah had ever seen it rain before. It rained so hard that the streams and the rivers and even the seas burst their banks and the shores began to flood. The water began to rise. Soon, Every sandy beach, every rocky path, every patch of muddy earth had disappeared beneath the water and the boat began to float. It floated above the houses, it floated above the trees, it floated above the hills and the mountains too. It floated on for days, for weeks, for months and then it stopped, stuck at the top of a tall mountain. Noah opened a window to look out. The water was going down but the world was far from dry. So he sent out a dove who flew over the water. The dove came back and Noah knew the time was not yet. So a few days later, he sent out the dove again. The dove flew over the water and this time came back with a green twig with a leaf in his beak. Yes, Noah thought, the flood waters are going down. He left it a few more days and this time he let the same dove out again. And this time the dove flew all around and didn't come back. No one knew that it had found dry land and a place to build its nest. He knew it was time to open the doors and come out. He heard God speak and God said, come out, come out of the boat. The world is dry, the world is clean. And now you and your family and the animals and your children can fill it with life again. God was happy too. So he painted a rainbow in the sky to celebrate this fresh, clean world, but also to make a promise to Noah, his family, his children, and to all children in the world that he would never send a flood like that again. Now, over this week we've made lots of rainbows, haven't we? And we've stuck them in our windows to bring hope to people in the world because we're all stuck at the moment and we're, and we're staying at home to stay safe. Well, we're going to make another different type of a rainbow today. We're going to make a Noah's Ark rainbow. Now all you're going to need is a paper plate, or if you haven't got a paper plate, a circle made out of card is just as good. 
you're going to need some crayons or some felt tip pens. You're going to need a pencil and a ruler and you're going to need a pair of scissors. You might need a grown-up to help you. First of all, on our plate, we're going to draw out our boat. So using your pencil and your ruler, we want to draw a line halfway into our plate. Just like that. Can you see? In the gap, we're going to draw the head of an arrow. And this will be the top of our boat. Just like that. Now, this is where you might need some help from a grown-up. Using your scissors, you need to make a hole in one side of the plate, just like that. And then we're going to cut around the curve of our plate very carefully. Take your time, just, you don't need to rush it. Okay? Careful to keep your fingers out of the way of the blades. And we end up like that. Okay? The next thing we need to do is to cut around the lines that we've drawn. Is going to be the top of our boat and this on the curve here is going to be the bottom of our boat so you need to take a brown crayon or a felt tip whatever you've got and we're going to color the boat cover it all up with brown you don't really want any white left over Now to help me, I've done the top of my boat, can you see? That's it. Now I'm going to draw a line around here so that I know where my boat goes to. Can you see? And then I'm going to colour on the inside of my boat. There we go. There is our boat. Now, we need to put the water that our boat is floating on. So the water will be around the bottom edge of your plate. Just going from one side to the other. that our boat is floating on the sea and it should 
look like that. Can you see? Yeah. Now, we're going to put our rainbow on now. So choosing our rainbow colours, we're just going to go along the top edge here in stripes. So I've got my red, first of all. yellow stripe I'm using pink next I want to make sure I've got all the colors of the rainbow sure you go and you follow the curve each time. Got, I'm using green next. So green. Green. Purple. Last of all, blue. And there we are. There is our rainbow over our floating boat. Now, you might need some help with this one. I'm going to use a red pen because I want to write a reminder on my boat that God keeps his promises. So I'm going to use my red pen. And I'm going to write onto the blue section. God keeps his promises. And there we go. There is our finished boat. Now, if you've enjoyed that, it'd be really good if you put some pictures up of the boats that you create. And why don't you put those in your window for people to see as a reminder that even though we're going through some very difficult times where people are poorly and people are having to stay in their own homes and they can't see family, they can't see friends, that actually we've got God all the time and God will keep his promises. The Bible tells us that God promised to never leave us and to always be there. So this week, can I ask, if you feel a little bit lonely or if you are missing somebody, why don't you make them a card or send them a message or, if you know how to do it, do a FaceTime message. Just to show people that we care, that you love them, and that you are still there, even though we can't see them face to face. Now, would you like to play a bit of a game? We're going to play a little bit of Simon Says. But instead of Simon Says, it's Emma Says. So, find yourself a space. Right, here we go. Emma says, jump up and down. Emma says, stop. Emma says, pat your head. Emma says, rub your belly at the same time. Emma says, hands on your nose. Emma says, hands on your ears. Hands on your knees. 
Who did I catch out there? Emma didn't say. Here we go again. Emma says, hop on one leg. Emma says, stop. Emma says, stand on the other leg. Emma says, wave. Bend your knees. I think I caught a few more people out then. Well done. Now, before we finish today, we're going to say a prayer. But we're actually going to say the Lord's Prayer together. Are you ready? Put your hands together and close your eyes. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Hope you've enjoyed that this morning. And I hope you have a really fun week. Even though it's a bit different, enjoy what you're going to be doing. And I look forward to next Sunday as we celebrate Palm Sunday. Just a little bit differently this year. We're going to have a special service next week where the children's service and the adult service is all mixed in together. So that'll be an exciting one to be part of. So God bless. I'll see you soon.